The yellow perch light is flashing on my Honeywell zoning system. Can I reset it by pushing the boot button? Hi, I'm Douglas and I am here to help you resolve problems with your heating and cooling equipment. This usually means the discharge air sensor is not attached or has failed on a Honeywell zone system. The purge light will flash but the system should still operate. It just won't have any low temperature or high temperature limit capability. So replacing the discharge air sensor is the next step? This Honeywell Universal Mini Zone is hooked to a carrier HVAC. Well you can check it to make sure it's not just a loose connection. Do you have the mini zone model number? Is your system otherwise functioning? Can't see a model number, the outside unit is not coming on. Inside fan is working, just no cool air. So are the damper lights on or off, is there air going into the zones? Are the zones calling for cooling? Zone 1 and 2 are green and cool is green. Air is moving upstairs and down just no cool air. Is the cool LED lit? Some models have this, on the zone panel? Yes the cool LED is on the zone panel. And it is green lit. Okay. Now we have to find out why the unit is not on outside. The control board is calling for it to come on. Do you have the cover off the zone panel? Do you see a series of wires on the left hand side marked equipment? Yes. Okay. For the purpose of testing. Do you see a yellow wire going into the Y1 terminal? If so, let's move that wire, again for testing, to the RC terminal along with the red wire and let's see if the outdoor unit comes on. This will tell us if the zone controller board is the problem. It's almost irrelevant, but do you see a two wire connection marked DATS on the right side? Are there wires connected to it? Do you have a voltmeter by chance? Also can you check the breaker for the AC unit outside to make sure it's not tripped? Two wires on right side into wire connection marked XFMR. Yes I have a voltmeter. Checking breaker outside to see if it's tripped. No XFMR is a transformer, that is not it. Look for two marked DATs. If you have a meter we can check to see if there is a call from the board to the unit. If you put your meter on RC to Y1 you should show no voltage. If you place it on RC to W1, you may see something like 24 volts AC. I have a brown wire running from Y1 to W1. Okay then I assume you have a wire connected to either the O or B terminal. This is a heat pump from what I can see. Is the red wire going to RC or RH? That's the one we want to use as a reference, RC or RH, to B should have 0 volts AC RC, or RH. 2O should have 24 volts AC RC, or RH, 2Y1 should have 24 volts AC can you check those? That is with the yellow wire still hooked to RC red wire correct? Oh, that was in the wee of it. With the yellow on the red is the outdoor unit running? No. OK you can put the yellow wire back on Y1. Your board is probably OK but your problem appears to be in the outdoor unit. 
you can put the cover back on the zone panel. I assume you check the breaker, one in the main breaker panel. If you are close to the air handler, see if there is a switch on it to turn it off, power it off. If so let's turn that off and back on and see if that resets a control issue in the outdoor unit. OK. A white wire came loose which one should it be hooked to W2 or E? I will put the yellow back to Y1. W2 but it can and should be jumped to E. This way auxiliary heat will come on if needed and if you switch it to emergency heat, the heat will also come on. Of course that's not your issue here. Got it. Everything wired back up RC red, Y1 yellow and white back on W2. Turning off power to air handler to see if it will reset. No luck still yellow flashing. Yellow will flash, again that's a problem with a mixed air sensor but not a reason for your unit not to run. From the mini zone documents. The purge LED, amber, flashes in all modes except purge if, 1. No DATS is connected to the EMM3U. 2. There is a problem with the DATS sensor. 3. There is a problem with the DATS wiring. The zone control panel will continue to operate correctly when the purge LED is flashing but without the high and low limit protection. Your outdoor unit is faulted either on a pressure switch lockout, if equipped, or there is a problem with the contactor or power to it. Thanks for your time. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.